So, I wanted to make this video to show you guys something that I noticed the other day. This is my work laptop. Nothing too crazy. It's a three and a half year old Dell XPS M1330. Uh, definitely not the fastest computer you can find these days, but uh, it's held up really well over the past three and a half years, and it still works. So, I replace it, right? Well, I have it, an SSD running its machine. And the other day for work, what I had to do was to swap that SSD out for a 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive so that I could run a different OS and software configuration to do some testing that I needed to do for my job. And what I noticed was how much slower that 7200 RPM drive was compared to the SSD that I'm used to using. And I wanted to make this video to show you guys the same thing. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. This machine is running a Core 2 Duo processor at 2.5 gigahertz. It's got 4 gigs of RAM installed and it's running Windows 7 Enterprise 64-bit that I installed about a week ago. Um, now the startup items on this machine I cleaned out most of the Windows services that I don't use so that uh, I save a little bit of boot time. And I also went into my startup tab and cleaned out a lot of things. Now for those of you that don't know this startup tab under MS Config tells your computer what applications to start when your computer boots. You'll see around a dozen or a dozen and a half total applications here that just got installed as you installed drivers and applications. What I did was I unchecked everything that I don't want and I left only these top five items checked. So only these five items are going to start when my computer boots. Uh, these are five applications I either need uh, for work or so that my system behaves the way that I want it to. So out of these five applications, I've got a pretty clean and fast uh, OS boot so I'm not loading a lot of uh, junk or bloatware when I boot my machine. Now I took this uh, image uh, of my drive, my SSD, and I cloned it over to a mechanical hard drive, which you see there sitting in that dock. Go ahead and turn that on. Um, that mechanical hard drive contains an identical drive image to what I'm running right now. Uh, now if I take a look at what this looks like inside of Windows Explorer in a file view. My F drive is that mechanical drive over there. It's got a bunch of files and folders there. My C drive, which is my SSD running right now, also has a bunch of files and folders. You'll notice same list of files and folders, which we would expect. We take a look at the drive sizes. Both my C drive and my F drive have 74.4 gigs total, 28.6 gigs free. So we're running identical drives here, which were cloned over using a Cronus uh, true image. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to boot my machine twice. The first thing I'm going to do is boot my machine um, on my SSD, run Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Outlook. Those are three common applications that I use uh, all day when I'm working on this laptop. Now, once those three applications are started, I'm also going to load Google Chrome, just because web browsers are pretty much open all the time on everyone's computer. So three Office apps plus Google Chrome, and we're going to time it on the SSD. Then I'm going to swap that SSD out for a mechanical hard drive and do the same thing. Boot it, three Office applications in Google Chrome, and we'll time it. And we'll see how long it takes. But more importantly, I want you guys to pay attention to how responsive the system is while all this is going on. Okay, so it's not just the time, but it's the responsiveness. How usable is your system while all this other stuff is going on? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Shut my machine down. Wait for that to power down completely, and I'm going to start getting everything set up. Okay, I'm going to power my drive off, pop that drive out, remove the dock. We won't need that anymore. Put that off to the side, and then we're going to go ahead and pop the drive out, which is in the machine right now. Unplug the battery just to be safe while we're installing and removing components and let's see what we have here. This is my SSD. Intel X25M 80 gigabyte, about a year old. Uh, you can probably find better and faster and cheaper SSDs than what I got this for about a year ago, especially with the next generation of SSDs coming out at the time this video was made in March 2011. But it's still a very reliable, capable drive, still should perform pretty well. This drive here is my mechanical drive. Uh, Hitachi Travel Star 7K320, about a year or two old, 7200 RPM drive, 320 gigabyte capacity. 
Uh, this isn't the fastest 7200 RPM drive you can buy, but um, it's pretty indicative of uh, what you would ex be able to expect out of a similar mechanical hard drive. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Take the SSD first, pop it in the system, pop the power back in. Plug it in, get my stopwatch set up, and we're going to go ahead and boot. About six and a half seconds through post. Windows welcome screen at about 21 seconds. Desktop at around 26. Okay. We'll load Windows. I'm sorry, Word, Excel, Outlook, and then Chrome. Okay, let's stop that. 43.8 seconds. All right, so the important numbers to remember were 6.5, 21. 26 and 43. Six and a half seconds through post, 21 seconds to welcome screen, 26 seconds to the desktop, 43 seconds for all that stuff to finish loading, uh, for me to run those three applications, for me to get into Chrome. So that's an SSD. Let's shut all this down. We'll run that same test again using the mechanical hard drive. Okay. Plug, pop the battery out, pop the drive out, pop the SSD in, and the power. I'm sorry, not the SSD, the mechanical hard drive is in there right now. I'm sorry, I misspoke. It's the mechanical hard drive in there right now. Go ahead and pop the power back in, and we'll go ahead and get started. So we ran the SSD already. It ran pretty fast, and it, this, uh, it also ran in a way that the system was relatively responsive when, uh, when it was booting. Let's go ahead and start this up, okay? So, power start. Six and a half through post, identical, which is what we'd expect. Next number we want to hit is 21 to the welcome screen. 21 seconds to the welcome screen on the SSD. Mechanical hit it in 44. So 44 versus 21. To the welcome screen. The next number we wanted to hit was 26 seconds to the Windows desktop. minute 25. 26 seconds to Windows Desktop versus a minute 25 to Windows Desktop. The next number we wanted to hit was 43 seconds, 43.8 seconds for everything to finish loading, for me to run three Office apps, for me to run Chrome. So you'll see my startup items are starting up. Not everything's loaded yet. My Windows sidebar didn't start yet. We should see some pop-ups in the middle of the screen here for some apps. That I load. There's one of them. And you know what? Just to take a look here, let's go ahead and start up Word, Excel, Outlook, and Chrome and just see how long it takes. And you'll notice that my machine is, I click on the start button, I'm going to click on, I'm going to move the mouse around, System's not really and the system's the mouse cursor is moving around, but uh, stuff isn't happening here. Word, Excel, Outlook is still opening. 
Remember the number we wanted to hit was 43.8 seconds. I'm going to stop this now. 2 minutes 44 seconds to uh, go ahead and do the same test on this mechanical hard drive. So 43 seconds versus 2 minutes and 44 seconds between SSD and mechanical hard drive. This is pretty close to what I noticed when I ran this the other day. And I wanted to make this video here to show you, uh, to show you a video of what I saw. So hopefully you guys can compare for yourself and decide whether an SSD is something that you want to buy. That's it. Signing off.